Hey, I'm Al Corlin. Thanks very much for joining me. I am in Vancouver, British Columbia right now, chatting with an old friend, Larry Ray. Listeners to our radio show are very, very familiar with Larry. He is the president of a company called American Manganese, a company that we have been following for over a year now. I want to say in the interest of full disclosure, among other things, that Big Al owns stock in American Manganese, so I am very, very biased in this opinion. Why am I biased? I'm biased because I know Larry's track record, number one, and number two, I know a bit about the property, the Manganese property down in Arizona, and I'm pretty comfortable with the situation down there. Also have Norman Chow with us. Norman is the CEO of a company called Cometco. Uh, Cometco is involved with companies like American Manganese from a technical standpoint, and we're going to let him give some views on that in just a minute. But before we start, Larry, do me a favor. Give me an overall general description of uh, American Manganese. Okay, Al, American Manganese is a company that controls one of the largest deposits or the largest deposits of uh, manganese in the United States. And we are doing... uh, uh, test work at this time and a 43-101 preliminary economic ev- uh, assess- assessment, pre-feasibility study, I should say, that uh, will move us to the next step. Now, Norm Chow, who's with me here now, has uh, developed some uh, very, uh, uh, call it uh, clean tech, um, environmentally friendly aspects to our project in that we are energy efficient and uh, certainly water efficient. So our project is not only a mining project, it's a, it's a, like a chemical project and it's also a clean tech project. And I'm happy to uh, say that every, all our results so far have been gratifying. We expect the uh, pre-feasibility by mid-February and uh, that will help us move on to the next step which is the feasibility. Tetra Tech are currently working on the environmental aspect. They're doing all the groundwork and all the preparatory work to uh, filing our uh, state plan, which will be done early next year, right after the pre-feasibility is out. And uh, so we're we're gung-ho, and uh, we just uh, will probably come in, or, or we're projected to come in as the lowest cost producer in the world of a metal that is controlled solely by China at 98.5%. Their control, of course, uh, they're consolidating the industry. Uh, We've just had CPM Group do a uh, uh, projection on where the uh, price price and the demand for uh, electrolytic manganese metal was going. They're saying in the next 10 years that demand will double. They're saying that the uh, Chinese (coughs) are consolidating the industry, which I've spoken of before and that they're losing about uh, 700,000 tons of capacity. So we can't depend on the Chinese much longer for all our production of uh, electrolytic manganese metal. Larry, i got a question for you, and my question is in terms of you kind of hinted around and, and, and you weren't quite as direct as I would like to have seen you in terms of the fact that you have every intention to put the property into production in Arizona. Now, a couple of things have to happen in order for that to happen, and I'd like you to just to address those if you would. Number one, you've got some permitting issues in Arizona. Where do you stand on that? Well, the uh, Tetra Tech are advancing the permitting issues. We expect to meet our timeline, which you'll find on our site at uh, AmericanManganeseInc.com. You'll see a timeline in our PowerPoint. Uh, we expect that uh, Tetra Tech will complete all that by uh, late next year. Not next year, I'm sorry, but the, in 2013. Our uh, feasibility work should be all completed this year. And uh, then it's into uh, the financing of the project. Yes, we want to put it into production. It's the lowest cost producer in the world. We're not afraid of debt, and I think we'll lean heavily to the debt side of the equation when it comes to putting the property into production. I don't have hard numbers till I get the pre-feasibility study, but it's going to be in excess of about $120 million, I would say. And uh, that's very doable by a junior company. Uh, for the kind of cash flow we get, we'll pay back in a year and a half. And uh, I feel that uh, we're certainly in a position to take this thing right through to production. Norm, let's talk a little bit about your company's involvement with American Manganese. Yes, well, our company developed the uh, process on a bench scale, and we're at the tail end of, we're, we're actually almost completed the, uh, the pilot scale work. Um, basically, what we did was we took the, uh, 
process mainly developed by the U.S. Bureau of Mines, and there was an inefficient part of the process that um, had heavy energy use and water use on uh, the water part of the, uh, the process. And what we did was we took modern technologies to um, very efficiently recover the water. Um, works out to be as, as that unit operation to be about 15 times less energy for that one unit operation. So it brings this to a very economical um, uh, process to recover the manganese from a low grade resource. Interesting situation. You know, as I have said numerous times on the air in the past, during the past year when I've been following the company, uh, as I said in a prior interview and as I'm saying right now, I put my money where my mouth is. I own stock in this company, which I purchased uh, out of the market. Uh, and I also have uh, a lot of faith in the fact that American manganese gives Big Al some diversification in the sense that Everyone knows I like precious metals, but you know, anyone who puts all their eggs in one basket, I think, is missing the boat. And that's why I do have, personally, have a position for America, in American manganese. Now, if you want more information on this company, either go directly to their website, which is given here, or click on the banner on our website. You get all the information you want. Why is that important? It's important because you don't want someone else making your decisions for you. You want to do your own research, and you want to make up your own mind on every single investment situation that you look at. Larry, Norm, thanks guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, Al.